Penn State facing another lawsuit, this one filed by the whistleblower in the Capa Delta Row Facebook and hazing scandal. University officials now defending their actions, and Aaron Calandra is in State College with more on that. Aaron? Marty, this is just the latest lawsuit that Penn State University is facing. In this case, a former pledge of the Kappa Delta Rho fraternity says the university ignored his cries for help when he says he was tortured in what he calls a house of horror. But officials say those claims simply are not true. It, it really was a house of horrors. I mean, you would get just anxiety and fear just having to go to the house. This is James Vivianzo, the whistleblower in the Kappa Delta Rho Facebook and hazing scandal, describing his experience pledging at KDR. His attorney, Aaron Freewald, says he's lucky to have made it out alive. Daily uh, uh, plying of these young people with alcohol to the point of vomiting, to the point of passing out, to the point even of being in need of going to the hospital. Freewald says his client reported the alleged misconduct to university officials. He first reported what was going on to a hotline on campus almost immediately. They say officials did respond, traveling to Vivinzio's Virginia home in 2014 to take a report, but they say eight long months went by and no action had been taken, forcing him to go to State College Police. I really wish that they would have answered in a better manner. They would have maybe contacted me more, just anything, instead of just not saying anything for months at a time. The university strongly disputes those allegations. In a statement, they tell Six News that they, quote, offered him extraordinary assistance on numerous occasions and went to great lengths to do so over the course of nearly nine months. They even say Vivinzio is the one who didn't cooperate, saying, quote, neither he nor his family were willing to file a complaint, provide documentation, speak with state college police, or participate in pursuing the formal disciplinary process available to them. Freewald calls the statement from Penn State, quote, false and misleading in an attempt to conceal and blur the truth. The lawsuit is asking for punitive damages. Penn State officials say they also only learned about this Facebook page, alleged Facebook page, when State College Police brought it to their attention in February. Now, we've heard a lot about this Facebook page from police, but we haven't heard much about the hazing allegations. We did contact State College Police today to learn more about that, but they have no comment, saying this is still an active investigation. Live in State College, Erin Calandra, 6 News.